Continuing coverage tonight, Way 31 was there as the Morgan County District Attorney read Bailey Marquette's indictment. The former Decatur police officer is charged with killing Steve Perkins. He posted a $30,000 bond and is now out of jail. Tonight, Way 31's Jillian Kay is back in Decatur with a look at how the community is fighting for change. That indictment is one that they've been waiting for for a while, but they're still upset about what happened to Perkins. And here at the Princess Theater today, there were a lot of tears and a lot of ideas about how they feel police could better serve the community. Black Lives Matter grassroots leaders demand justice. This on a weekend they call the Steve Perkins Celebration of Life weekend. Accountability is all we can hope for right now. You know, getting these officers fired, getting prosecutions, and we gonna get them all prosecuted. Send them under the jail and put them in general population. Yeah. Right? The group held a three hour panel inside Decatur's Princess Theater. Folks in the community want accountability from Decatur city leaders. We uh, made sure that this district attorney and the mayor is making the right decisions in, these, in this situation. <coughs> because this is an atom bomb waiting to explode. And they say they don't want to see that happen. What they want to see is change in police practices and procedures. You have to uproot. You, you've got to get rid of the old system, replace, because there's no other way. They say fixing the system starts with, one, ending qualified immunity. That means officers are protected from liability unless they violate a clearly established constitutional right. Two, provide the necessary data, like body cam footage, that's needed for the Department of Justice to come in and make changes to police department policies. And three, legislation for police oversight. All of these demands give this group hope that they can live in Decatur and feel safe. You cannot come in and just kill us and think you'll get away with it. Standing in power leaders say they hope to see a lot more panels like this weekend's. Indicator, with coverage you can count on, Jillian K. Way 31 News.